Back on starting block for game two of the Able Gamers qualifiers. Who knows where this will take us? To Civ 1, maybe? Or to Civ 2? Who knows? Who knows? All I know is that we've got a lot of interesting players. Always Prime has DC'd. That's frustrating. <laughs> Simba, little red. <laughs> oh dear. Was the um, mic balance better on the lobby there? So, this time round we've got Dakes in green. Over here, bots first, air second. Moving round, we've got Sonic Blue in blue. Double bots first. Going into a lot of walking to get some P gens later on. Not ideal. What you tend to see is most pros do their builds in this vicinity here so that their commander builds as he walks rather than um, just in a single you know, build, build, trudge, 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 because that's a lot of time wasted doing the trudge, 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 trudge. There's always one. Always prime. After the third disconnect, we're going to automatically resume the game. Oh, I didn't put in... GG! Evan Brown. We've got Bill Boyne. Air to vehicles to vehicles. Ferretmeister going bots to air. And we've got King Arthur. Vehicles bots. And always prime. A little bit late. With a, a distinct lack of build, naturally. Moving over. Woodworking with Will. Got some bots into air into vehicles. I don't know who this person is. I reckon, based on the build, that it's someone who's half decent. So, uh, if it's someone obscuring a name, please reveal. But here we go. Always Prime going for the vehicles first. Lots of power strats from uh, Dakes here. Anything significant from the other players? The person to watch out for in this one, I'm going to say is woodworking with Will, especially based on this build. I reckon this is a pseudonym for, for, another, for another player. Certainly going on what I have at the moment. And then the other person to watch out for is Ferretmaster. I don't know the uh, skills of the other players. But I'm 
I'm sure we'll find out. Bill Boyne does seem to be alright, yeah. A little late with the P-Gens, but air into double vehicles isn't too bad. We did see that Always Prime is going straight into Orbital, so if he could maintain his connection, he might just about do it. And based on the last game, you would have thought that uh, more players would be going Orbital this early in the game, but it seems like they have uh, abdicated that duty. Relieved themselves, whoops, of, uh, of that burden. Bill Boy in there, expanding up to the north, getting the, uh, the mechs around there. Fretmaster doing a little bit of expanding, a little bit slow off the mark. Be doing a bit more with the commander there, possibly a few more factories. A little bit surprised. Kunata doing okay, respectively. Anderson, speaking. Orbit. Into orbit now from Woodworking with Will 2. Ferret flying ahead with the economy game there. 110. Next person behind Sonic Blue with 82. It is doing a good job here, look at that. Just sticking just below the ridge so that the turret cannot do now. There's some docks wandering in to save the day from the annoying <laughs> annoying grenadiers. Orbital now from Sonic Blue as well. And T2 from various players. Ferretmeister into T2 bots. T2 bots also from Sonic at the same time. T2 planned from Always Prime. That's where we're up to. Excuse me a moment. You're right, Space Pie. Deep space is even darker. Hey. So having got the earliest lead on the orbital, Always Prime wasn't the first to complete it. As we see, we're working with Will straight away. Over to this planet here. Civ 2. Ready and waiting. For your beauteous teleporters. Back down on the main planet. We have more expansion from the other players now, which is good. As last time we tended to just see Vernon Custer doing it. Always Prime getting a little mini base up on the North Pole, just in case he needs to run his commander away, especially with that teleporter there. Good to see, even with a T2 factory. Good bomber harass from Dakes. Over into working with Will's base. Commander's still there. I think waiting to maybe get off world the moment that teleporter is up and ready. T2 almost complete for Sonic Blue. Hoping to get that economy off the floor.
This is going to be an interesting fight here between King Arthur and Ferretmeister. Got two ways of approach, and Ferret, with not a huge amount of army to defend, as the other half is all the way over there on the eastern front. Getting goaded out there. We have got a few slammers that can potentially do some damage, but uh, walking into the grenadier shots are there. Focusing them down. Got to defend your expansions. Sending in the bombers to do that. Have a look into the orbital now, as I reckon there's some developments afoot. So we've got Dakes going over to Civ 1. Anyone else over at Civ 1? Currently, always Prime is over there with his commander going for Tubble Air Factories. And over on Civ 2, we've got Woodworking with Will expanding as much as Poss, and some always Prime on the North Pole. Cannot argue with it. Gosh. Takes is only just arriving. It's a bit late. Where is he going to arrive from, I wonder, though? Oh, just to the north. He doesn't want to put a teleporter there. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll be able to see a few radar blips just down there. There you go. As he moves away, he loses the radar that that uh, fabricator affords. Oh! And King Arthur brings over his commander in Astraeus. Not the most orthodox of transitions. Especially not when you have uh, orbital fabbers awaiting. Dake's playing very, very defensively in his main base, though. Look at all those mines. But it's not a bad tactic. There's only the north and southern approaches to worry about, though. With the air coming in against that base, he's going to see a lack of commander and realise, oh, wait. Will is no longer here. Sonic Blue against Bill Boyne. Right in there. Focusing him down. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not going to get out of that. Lovely. Good job, Sonic. Nice kill. Just six more to go. You can do it. Unlucky Bill Boyne, this tournament is not for you. Always Prime is a little concerning because his economy is okay. I mean, it's the best. But at the same time, he hasn't exactly got a huge amount to his name got beachheads on the other planets, but nothing of note. Nothing of right homeness. Setting up a beachhead on the South Pole, though. Not a bad idea. Got some slammers in there as well. We want some T2 fabs to move through this. Get some T2 fabs over onto there so that they can start building up those factories. What's he got? Anything ready to send through that teleporter now? Just a few more units. 
No T2 fabs yet. No T2 fabs in his base at all. This surprises me greatly. I don't know, there's one. Get it doing something, mate. Sonic Blue looks ready to take over Bill Boyne's old base. Got some nice expansion from Dakes on both North and South Poles there. Taking out what remains of Woodworking with Will's base. Excuse me, I've got something in my eye. Oh, uh, wow, well, that's painful. Goodness. Lots of... solar arrays being built by Always Prime. Is that necessary? Get some T2 power! In your base! Do it now. Lots of air factories as well. Hello. Where's that? That'll be over here, I reckon. Oh, that's always Prime's commander. Looks like we had a bit of a boom bot rush there as he tried to flee. That or some slammers, but the bomber's not quite going to manage to save him, I don't think. It's missing most of its shots. Can the commander survive just that little bit longer? Down to 10% HP, but more units are coming up from the south. I don't think he's going to get through. It's going to be very, very close indeed. He needs another Uber Cannon in the best place possible, and he's going to miss it. Down goes Always Prime. This was not his tournament. Ferret's got a lot of support in chat there. Go for it. <laughs> He's now going to take on Arta, though, and Dakes, who also have a presence on this moon. Not doing a huge amount, just being a bit pesky to each other. There we go. Let's have a look on the other moon. We're working with Will, expanding all over the place. Getting up an orbital launcher there, revealing his presence. Or her. Lots of umbrellas there as well. For all that defense. But having been said, we were cheering for Ferret a moment ago. Let's have a look at this. Sonic Blue has all but annihilated Ferret's base back on the starting block. Ferret having to run his commander. Well, it's over on the other moon, really, isn't it? Arthur, a little bit low on the uh, the unit side there. Just a few air units, a few ground units. Those should really be going to help him on the moon, especially against uh, Dakes. Yeah. Let's have a look at what else Sonic's doing. Going up for a Helios there in the foreground. Still fighting off against Dakes over on this side. Dakes having to DC. What is going on? Place your bets, folks. Who do you think is going to win? Some think Sonic, some think Woodwork. The Energy Project 157. I disagree. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As do... Probably the other 70-odd folks watching. 73 viewers. Wow. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, 
just going to take this break in proceedings to go and grab myself some uh, cold tablets. I can feel my nose bunging up. Yeah, sure. So here we've got King Arthur versus Dakes. A few factories, bot factories producing docks for the most part. Lots of pigeons there. I feel like he'd do well with uh, a bit of T2 over there. That's what's necessary. Down on the South Pole is where Ferret has his base. No T2, though. Seems like he lost that on the main planet, but we have got a couple of lobs there. They're going to shoot those docks. Multiply the units. Ah, we did get a T2 Faber off world, so at least he's got that. That is important for Ferret. That's very important indeed. Let's have a gander over to Tother Moon. As woodworking with Will is revealed. Umbrellas all over the place for orbital defense. Look at the coverage of that. Pretty swell amount of coverage there. Few uh, blind spots on the South Pole, which is a bit of a worry. Back on the main base, let's have a look at uh, Ferret's standings. Sonic and Dakes have the eco game right now. There we go. On the South Pole Ferret still has these bits of expansion. But no one seems to be really contesting unless this force here from Sonic is heading over that way. see what that was. Vanguard retreating first. Interesting. A little bit of a standoff here. All you need is a combat fam and we've got it to be able to see these mines. So Sonic will be able to shoot them down, but that's a lot of air units coming in. Only a small number of bombers, though. Not too bad. We have got a Kestrel in there, so we've got T2 air up in Dakes' base. There we go. Look at all that. Why is it I always get a cold around the time of Able Gamers? It's really, really annoying. What we should do is have Able Games in the middle of the summer rather than in the middle of the winter. That'd be so much better, wouldn't it? Lighter outside.
Oops, I thought I, uh... What was my mic doing? Whoops. <laughs> there we go, that's much better. So I was talking about the Kestrels going up. Not so much uh, anti-air in the army, but then the Kestrels not focusing it down, so they were getting shot out. And then uh, King Arthur not being happy about Ferret pushing through his base on the moon, and equally... Dakes also being fought off the moon here, leaving it to Ferretmeister. Still got woodworking with Will in the picture in picture. Now the main view. Just getting some T2. Being a bit passive. What are we getting in orbital? Anything of note? Not that I can see. I'll swap that back over there. But Ferret, on the south, has the T2 factory. Building lobs up the yin-yang and building T2 eco as well. So not making the mistake that the others have in delaying that T2 eco. So we'll probably see Ferret's economy explode in the coming minutes. King Arthur valiantly trying to build a defense against Sonic. But I think he doesn't realize that there's something called... A lovely flank down there. Which is a little bit of a problem. Sonic, meanwhile, on the other side of the blap. The blap? The map. Fought through all the mines. Ready. Going through the rest of Dake's base. There's Dake's commander. Shall we see if we can find it? It's right there. Oh, Sonic pulling away a little prematurely. I don't think he wanted to lose too many units there. There we go. Down he goes. This was not Dakes's toy. So, Sonic now has a Helios. Lots of air factories. No orbital presence yet, but he is now starting to expand on the main planet. With any luck. The only other thing he has to really fight off is Ferret's expansion on the north and south. And then King Arthur. Woodworking with Will is happy over there in the distance. We still haven't captured all of this mechs. And we're not getting that T2 Eco, as I mentioned before. Yet you've got T2 factories. What are you doing, Will? Why are you T1-ing it up? Get some T2. Missing a trick. There we go. Finally starting on it. over. Let's have a look on uh, Civ 1. What's Ferret up to? Army everywhere. Is he going back onto the main? Looks like he will be. Where's the teleporter? North or south? That'll be south. What's all this pinging going on? Oh, yeah. That's a lot of docks. Uh, that's a lot, a lot of docks. Bombers will deal with that quite nicely. Send some T2 fabs over, get some T2 air factories down here, and you'll be laughing. Oh, now this is good from Sonic. Look at this. He's doing a bit of a pincer movement. He's holding off his units for the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Drawing all of Arthur's units over to the eastern approach. 
Meanwhile, the Western one... We're just starting to see Sonic get a pincer movement now against Arthur, who's trying desperately to get up a, a, a Titan and a Nuke at the same time. Not necessarily great news for him. It's going to be quite costly. Better to just focus on one or the other. There's no way you're letting that... Oh, it's being built by Orbital. That's why I didn't see anything there. So we got some air here, but we've got uh, some spinners to deal with it. And look at this. Sonic kind of goading away Arthur's forces. Oh dear. But we don't have any anti-orbital stuff in this army. Well, we do. We have one Blue Hawk, but we also have two SXX. So if those SXX can focus down that Blue Hawk, that army is kind of toast. King Arthur just needs to realize this. Shoot it down. Zap it. It's gone. That army is now toast. It has to push forward or risk losing itself. Oh, Space Pie. Not Space Pie. Sonic's army on the eastern side, though. Look at Sonic's base, though. Look at that. Sprawling. No real proper credible nuclear plays yet. We've got the T2 air now on the south. Possibly get some uh, T2 economy expansion. Possibly also some Zeus's. I hope so. That'd be really good against Sonic right now. Let's have a look over on Civ 1. Building up. Ferret now on 1,000 plus eco. If he wanted to, he could probably rush up some Haley's. Why would he want to? Because he hasn't got control of the other planet right now. Unless he just wants to Haley into that other planet after killing off Space Pie. Haley's probably are not on his uh, priority list right now. It's a bit too difficult to make happen. If you don't have control of two planets, ramming a planet is pretty much suicidal. Because you've got nowhere to hide. You'll either be riding a smashing planet or smashing a planet into yourself. So, one or t'other. Yes, I know, chat. I said it wrong. I also corrected myself within a second, so... <laughs> Gosh. Judge, jury, and executioner. Right. Let's have a brief gander at uh, working with Wills. Over here. Why have we got planet-wide patrol of... Docks. Not docks, boom bots. Don't do it. So pointless. We even got a few blue hawks wandering around, but get a decent army and do something. Commander's idle. No T2 army. No orbital strategy. This guy is just sort of being very passive. Just taking out a moon for the sake of it. Build some unit cannons or something. Do something. Otherwise, when these other guys have fought each other off, it's going to be very quick and easy to deal with that moon. I'm not going to have it in the picture in picture anymore. for Ferret, getting up all that T2. Could we see Locusts, or are we just going to see loads and loads of Blue Hawks? Looks like it. 
Still the lobs are working overtime. Still the air factories too. T2 air fabs coming out now as well. Possibly for some unit cannons or nuclear plate. Oh, hello. That looks to me like a teleporter's about to go down. King Arthur dealing with that quite nicely, though. Sonic tries desperately to wrangle with a Dox Horde that's walking way too close to vanguards. In the air as well, not with too much anti-ground in there, and the Dox getting chewed through by those vanguards. Look at that. Do not stand your Dox close to vanguards. That is a bad idea. Never do. Never do. Never do. People now perhaps realising that Ferret is a potential problem in this game. That sounded like an Ares being completed. Not Sonic Blue's idea. Bombers on the north. Ares on the north. Oh, look at this. Bombers going in for the docks run. Kind of dealing with that quite nicely. Thinning it out. Put it all together. Getting into Sonic's base a little bit, though. So they've got at least some intelligence now. Those are T2 idle fabs there that I just see in the foreground. Yes. Do something with them. Oh, wow. Really? Just the odd docks here and there. That's, that's annoying. It's not useful. It's just annoying. Nothing else. Alright, so we have our nuclear missile launcher. We do not yet have a nuclear missile capable player. I hope Ferret can finish this quickly. Or Sonic, one of the two. Doesn't look like uh, a huge amount of strats are really coming out of Sonic right now. Need to get that Ares doing something that he's managed to build on the north. I do see some Omegas coming out into orbit. So perhaps that'll be a uh, beachhead thing. If I'm not saying a huge amount constantly, I'm just trying to conserve my voice at the moment because we've got another three games to get through. bit of nuclear play from Ferret. Certainly nuclear anticipation. Anti-nukes are up in many different locations. Oh, here we go. Sonic. Arriving and running. <laughs> Ferret with the Helios. 
looking like he wants to uh, invade. God, look how fast that's going up. That's slightly spooky. Wonder what sort of unit comp we'll have through there, other than docks, 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 docks. Looks like it'll be docks, 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 docks. <laughs> Maybe a few slammers. Need better than that. Need much better than that. Everyone wills planet though. Oh, there we go. We've got some nukes coming up from Will. <laughs> With just a couple of T2 fabs. Camera's annoying me. There we go. What are you doing? Stop. This is the this is the problem with planet patrolling docks. I'm gonna have to get rid of the picture in picture. Oh don't planet patrol your Avengers as well. Don't do it. So we've got a dock spammer. An Avengers Planetary Patrol and a Boombot Planetary Patrol. Stop! Stop it! Please! Not good. King Arthur has managed to expand on the main planet though. Can um, organisers in Discord, if you have abilities to speak to the folks, um, can we get them to to kill the, well, not kill, but stop the uh, planet patrols, please? That would be very much appreciated. Also, Shivy in the morning, anyway. <laughs> We're getting to maybe natural terminus with this stuff. Oh, look at this army of docks. Docks and slammers. And a few infernos. Spinners in there too. Can't argue with that. But the docks just fall apart because the bombers just tear through them. Like, there's not enough spinners in there to deal with this. No way. And now he's going to meet up against the, the vanguards once more for, for docks v vanguards 2.0. And guess what? Spoilers, the outcome's going to be the same. Though this time, he's got slammers to back him up. They tend to focus down the vanguards pretty nicely. And the vanguards tend to waste their first shot on the first thing that comes to them, so they don't get the full benefit of the uh, area damage to the vanguards. Well, Ferret, that didn't do much.
But he's invading Will. Something's happening at long last. Will has a nuke on the launch pad. And Ferret is desperately trying to break through all of these umbrellas. The Helios is there. We're not dropping stuff through, really. Got a few docks out of the way, but there's just too many booms. Why are you still using docks? That's like trying to use pitchforks against a tank. It's not going to work. He didn't even move uh, his air anywhere, so that was a complete waste of time. Two nukes on the launch pad now, ready from Will. Sheer amount of disapproval right now. <laughs> Stop building docks, please! Thank you. I don't think he heard me. <laughs> it's not working out for you. And we're not even getting any orbital to ground units. We're just building more and more Avengers. You've got enough Avengers, Ferret. You've got enough Avengers, you don't need more. King Arthur, you've survived because no one's bothered attacking you anymore. And you haven't done any attacking yourself to annoy anyone. Tearing through this little foothold on the South Pole here. away from Arthur what are you doing you know scout first see what's going on see what you're nuking if you've just nuked this whole air blob that's a waste of a nuke there's nothing against your ground there only up in this top corner and the nukes not going there oh 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 mighty get lucky mighty get lucky mighty get lucky it's possible it's possible well he, he got one there you go what a waste of a nuke. You could have used it on Sonic. The stuff on the north that's attacking you, you could have used it on. Omega's doing a bit of pesky, pesky damage. SXX running away before the Omegas come into force. Need a few more Avengers to take off four Omegas. Five, six, seven Omegas. Omegas are very good against Avengers. You really want uh, Artemis. There we go, bringing them in. That's what you want to use against Omegas, not Avengers. What's Will up to with his nukes now? One, two, three, four, five, almost six ready. Come on, are you going to use them, please? Please? 
please. So Sonic has three Helios, with which he's doing nothing. You have three Helios, a sizable army, T2 factories with which you can build Manhattans, and yet you are not doing anything. Oh. Mm, gosh. should have put in <laughs> nah, Mike didn't die it's still here okay, we got a few Zeus at least from uh, there we go from ferret why are we getting Zeus why not just Nukes would be so much faster. Now he's still building docks, I'll have you know. With those lobs. That's not finishing anytime soon. <laughs> stop it. You've got 497 docks, just stop. Oh. Got a few nukes. Nothing really launching Not some nukes ready from Will If these folks are in Discord can we uh, shivvy them along please This game is getting stale Hello. Sonic sending a nuke now. Where to? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It's going to Arthur, and there's no anti nuke. Oh, this could be what we need. This could be just what we need. to move away but still hits the middle of the base right under all those orbital factories that's gonna hurt pop 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 right in the middle yeah use your air now to go and over over that commander oh hello oh hello Zeus commander snipe hello goodbye Sonic there's not a lot you can do about that Sonic goodbye This tournament was not for you. So Ferret finally uses the big guns. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you have all of the stuff and you don't use it. <laughs> like, Sonic probably could have won that game so much earlier. Or at least killed off 
one or two other people. Now the same thing is going to happen against Ferret. But the big issue of the day, where have they gone? Is sat here. That's a lot of nukes. And if Will so desires, he could probably find a commander and carpet nuke. And that's going to be a bit of a problem for Ferret. That is, if he sends it to Ferret's way. Oh, rough. Has he got any orbital radar? I don't think he does. We'll have to have a look. Let's just mind the frame rate for a moment, folks. Have a look in the bottom left. Apparently, no radar. Oh, there's one. <laughs> it's the one part of the planet that I didn't select. And there's his radar floating around. We got one there. Where's the next one? No. Nope. Yeah, we got those three as well. Where are they going? Because the thing is, Will has a few anti nukes in the area. So you're not going to get nuking him away. That's not going to be a thing. I'll tell you what we'll do. Instead of trying to watch both sets of nukes in the picture-in-picture, -picture, we'll do this. Although, I think that's an invasion onto Will's planet right there. That it is. Hello! Ferret is making plays, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ferret is making plays with his Helios, with all of his air, coming in, streaming through. Let's have a look at that without all the icons and units. Oh, wowza. <laughs> oh dear. It's all sat there waiting, doing nothing again, though. Oh! There goes a defensive nuke from Will. Going for the Helios and the army and the air. That's a good use of the nuke, but the other nuke launchers... You're not de What? No! 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 What are you doing, Will? Oh, you Nelly! Oh, well, he's gone. <laughs> he had so many nukes that he didn't use. He didn't use them. Oh, golly, jeeps! How depressing is that? And now Ferret in against Arthur. <laughs> Come on, use your docks, Ferret. <laughs> use those docks in a spaghetti formation. The only way those docks could be even more useless is if they're just going in on their own. <laughs> like, come on. Now we've got an Atlas moving in as well. That'll be nice to see. Come on, Arta. Use your dudes. Nukes are away. Couple of ferrets, nukes, right in the middle of the base, please. That's in the wrong place, ferret! Scout, ferret! I mean, you hit a commander, at least. Ah. Oh. We could have had the game over right there. Scout, 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 scout. And yes, you are allowed to use that in a sound mod. Scout, 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 scout. Oh! 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 It's a Planet Smash Ahoy! Finally! Uh, About bloody time. I laugh if some rogue docs just happened to wander to this commander and kill Steel from the Haley. 
That would be quite amusing, wouldn't it? There we go. Let's end this nonsense. Game over. Well played, Ferret. Took you a while. But we managed it. Oh, wowza. That was a bit of a marathon game. <laughs>